Welcome to the Columbus Museum of Art. Let's take a look at this painting. What do you see? Now I'm going to take one thing away from this picture. Can you guess what I took away? I think lighting is one of those things people don't really think that much about, but it makes a huge difference. There are a lot of elements that go into any exhibition that really um, are all those things people don't really think about, but um, yeah, lighting is huge. Lighting is it's the last step, but it's also kind of like Step, if that makes sense. Because you know, that's what makes it, like, what makes it finished. Like, you get to spotlight it. Probably the most important component is the UV filters on, on the light canes. So the UV filter is supposed to, you know, filter out the harmful light rays that will reach the artwork. The only thing you can protect the artwork is just having a lower light level. That's what we used to do while we would screen things back. So if you meter it, there's just too much light. Like, there's a lot of light wall right now, but uh, so just screening that back and having less light get to it will protect the piece. If you have a painting or a piece that's, you know, that has to be a certain low foot candle, like five or seven, that's a work on paper, and then you have an oil painting right next to it, which, you know, we currently do have in some of the galleries, and so it'll look really funny. So you kind of want to balance that out. So you're usually coming down on something that could take more light, and you just want to even it out. There's a whole other process of placement, and you have to find like the best way for there to be like a continuity between the entire gallery. In the gallery, the lights are really adjustable, so you can move them a lot more than you can move the painting. There's every space and every place is a little bit different. From the space that we're in right now it has a lot of natural light, so we try to make the light come from far away, so it's not as harsh on the actual piece. And each piece is a little bit different for how you're going to let it angle-wise. If pieces are really close, you kind of want to do it straightforward. If pieces are um, just solo on a wall or just isolated on a wall, you kind of want to do angles. So it's all, it changes um, each piece, but it's definitely a huge, important part of each work. You know, if you start to notice um, everything looks really low or that, you know, why is that one so close to the corner or something feels uncomfortable and we're not doing what we should do, which is, to make it so you're just noticing the artwork. We want people to come in and not notice anything, any issues about the light. If we're doing our job right, you're just noticing what you should be noticing and not going, what's going on with these lights?